Soundhound had their earnings report, and like I was saying, you know, the expectations were pretty high for $17.7 in revenue, which is a big jump from the last quarter. And sure enough, it did come up short at $17.1 million, okay, which was still 80% growth. And again, I think this company is just getting started, but that could provide a dip. Obviously, the stock has run up from 2 bucks to over $7 a share. That's a huge gain. So that's what I was saying in that video I posted on Soundhound's earnings, right, to expect a sell-off and that we'd be a better time to enter, right? I would give it a couple days at least for this to fall, see if it does, okay? And then that would be a better point to buy and go long. But again, they still have a pretty big valuation, okay, that they need to catch up to, which again, I think long-term they will. And they said they got their first revenue from a preeminent um, AI chip company, which everyone thinks is NVIDIA, but they didn't list it. So obviously if that money keeps rolling in, that's gonna be good. Also they extended a contract with one of the largest automakers okay so that's another good sign so and their guidance you know pretty much came in line with expectations so again it wasn't amazing but again it's looking forward it's looking down the road they have a lot of demand they have 200 million in cash on their balance sheet so a lot to like with this company but uh, the price needs to come down if you're not in this yet if you didn't get in when i was recommending it around two dollars a share i would wait for a better entry point or you can start dollar cost averaging as it goes down and play the next trend up when that happens eventually down the road.